what's happening with all these layoffs from all these fan companies. I'm not an expert, but I'm gonna try to explain to you what's happening and how can you prepare yourself as a beginner developer um, to actually, you know, be productive in this new economy, pretty much. So I'm gonna touch on a bunch of subjects and I've been running this video in my head for the past few days because I've, I've been trying to like collect all the information and kind of try to deliver it to you in a way where it makes sense so you know what's going to happen okay I cannot predict the future pretty like 100% obviously nobody can but I've read a few things I've heard about a few things and I have you know uh, probably a different perspective than most people that you are watching in this space and I hope it's gonna help you okay so if you haven't followed the news recently a bunch of companies are firing people and this is especially true in the tech companies like Facebook, Amazon, like Meta it's called, Stripe, uh, Twitter, Twitter like, is like a special case but uh, whatever. Uh, but yeah, a bunch of engineers are being let go and a bunch of people are also freaking out. They are saying like this is the end of the world. First thing that I want to touch here is that it's not the end of the world and you know what? Fuck Facebook, fuck Google, fuck all these big companies. Like everyone hates them because they are collecting our data but if they are doing bad in terms of business everyone is like freaking out and crying. Well, like the, there is like a thing like the Goliath and David is like a biblical story, right? There's the big bad guy, which is, you know, the, the fan companies. And now there is time for a David to come in and take over the big tech that's censoring people, that's selling our data and whatnot, okay? So it's nothing wrong with that. For example, if you don't like YouTube because YouTube is censoring people or Twitter or Instagram and whatnot, TikTok, there are alternatives. Or for example, if you don't like YouTube, you can go on Rumble. If you don't like Instagram, you can go on Getter. So this is the opportunity for new players to come in the space. Why shall we just accept that Facebook, Amazon, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, Google, why do we need to accept these companies, the, the de facto companies? Now it's time for you to find a startup that is directly competing with these centralized platforms, okay? There is like, I feel like there is um, a new start for a decentralized, you know, technology system where there are like fragments of people having different platforms, fragments of people having different tech and whatnot. I believe that jobs as we know them right now, in the future, they will be gone, you know? Um, I believe that the freelancing or the freelancer model is gonna be more than common in the future, in the next five years. Um, so yeah, that's that. Now, regarding all these layoffs, like what's happening? Well, there is a, a book that I want you to read. It's called, ah, fuck, Principles by Ray Dalio, or like Ways to Live in the New World. It's something like that. It's a book written by Principles of the New World Order by Ray Dalio. I forgot the name, but the author is Ray Dalio. And he's basically explaining like the cycles of like, um, of a system, right? And there are six phases. And then it starts from really bad to prosperity, to fights and whatnot, and then decline and then it ends up in a depression and whatnot and the whole system changes completely and according to that book we are in the fifth out of six of out of six phases and uh, shit is about to happen okay don't trust me read that book and make your own mind you know look at the world around you um, and see what's happening in there and be smart about it, okay? Don't trust me, a random guy on the internet, to tell you what's gonna happen with your life. And another thing that I want you to read about is fractional reserve banking. You'll learn about
about how money is being printed and how all these tech companies, you know, have been built on credit. And, you know, it's very easy to build something on credit, to get investors and whatnot, and then market your product and see if you can get users. It's very easy. Uh, some people do that just to get the money and then, you know, they leave. And all this credit that's getting moved, you know, yes, we are creating business and economy, but we are still fucking up, you know, the future and increase the inflation and whatnot. And then in the in the end, everyone is gonna get absolutely annihilated. But you can read more about that in that book that I mentioned to you, and you can read about fractional reserve banking. What was I talking about? Layoffs. Layoffs. Layoffs, yeah, uh, shit. Okay, so now I believe the way things will be working is gonna be like this. Uh, people will start marketing their product before they have the product built. I think that's the best way. You should get revenue. As you are building the product, you should get like real revenue and you should scale slower. And I think the way the tech world is gonna work is gonna be slightly different. Now, how is this going to help you as a junior developer? Someone that has no experience, someone that, you know, wants to get a job in tech. But it's gonna be harder than ever. Uh, that's, the, that's the reality of things. It's gonna be harder than ever before. So a few years ago when I first started, it was difficult for a self-taught developer to get a job because everyone was thinking that, hey, you need to have a degree if you want to have a job and whatnot. Then it switched to, you don't need to have a degree and we accept everyone. But now there's like a bunch of people that had issues since, you know, the banana crisis happened in 2020 and they want to change their careers now, you know, and they see the opportunity and blah, blah, blah. And that's you, that's fine, no problem. But now there's a bunch of you like that and people are kind of tired of seeing the same weather apps and whatnot, blah, blah, blah. Uh, people that want to change their lives, you know, entirely. But now, besides that, companies are hiring less. I, was, I did a, a quick search of like how many people have hiring on LinkedIn. And last week there were like 1,000 or something like that. And then a few months ago, there were like 4,000. So there were like four times more people hiring last year on the same day, pretty much. So that tells you that there's, there's less roles available. A bunch of experienced software developers have been laid off and they are like at a discounted price right now, especially with this uh, Christmas coming in and whatever. They need to get a lower pay, you know. So the I think the wages will start to go down a bit because probably software engineers have been over exaggerated at least for the next few months or years and to get in as a junior is going to be extremely difficult and again i'm not telling you this to formal you in to buy my shit or whatnot you should do that anyway but i'm just telling you how it is because this is important so i was watching this video from this guy called hamza he was talking about training does your hand hurt yes you should look more in the camera okay i'm just talking about this anyway uh and he said like he was talking about training and he said whenever you are training you are not training hard enough you should push more and if you try to push and you feel like ah you are about to die you are only pushing to one eight and then i was thinking i read this book about um this book called can't hurt me by david goggins you should look it up as well and he said whenever you feel like you are tired you are not you are just using 40% of your true potential. So what does that mean? It means that you are not working hard enough, okay? Your app is shit, work harder. More features, better design. Oh, I'm not a designer. Okay, learn it. Hire a designer. Oh, my code is, uh, I don't know if my code is good. Get a code review. I've made videos about that, how to find a mentor. Do that. Oh, but I don't wanna spend money, okay then you'll be a loser because you are competing with people that have all these things together. So it's up to you. Do you want to have like a, like a slight differentiator or not? When you'll be applying to jobs, 
are you gonna apply to three jobs a month that's the only the ones that have junior or are you gonna apply to everything it doesn't matter if it's front end back end java python like you need to go like nuts right now if you don't understand this you need to go nuts like like crazy if they say oh but we are not hiring engineers today or if you go to an interview and they are like you know they say oh we are looking for someone with more experience i don't care if you're looking for someone with more experience i'm gonna work for you now and you're gonna pay me like you need to be aggressive <laughs> right now otherwise you'll be left in the dust because right now the world is becoming extremely savage trust me and it's gonna be extremely um competitive no longer you're no longer comparing comparing just to yourself you know like oh get one percent better every day and i'm gonna be happy blah 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 it's not gonna be like that anymore now you're really competing with like the big boys and everything's gonna go to shit but maybe not i don't know i have no idea read those books that i mentioned to you do your own diligent knowledge you know diligent observation and whatever and let me know in the comments what do you think about this video peace